What's going on, YouTube? This is DraftKings Addict bringing you my top picks for the uh, Tuesday main MLB DraftKings slate, guys. All right, guys. So, all right, man. Uh, today, before uh, lineups locked, I uh, tweeted out a, a lineup. Uh, I put up 97.6 points. Didn't do too well because Correa went out with a sore toe. And then also, man, then uh, Smoke got me a nice uh, fat donut. You know, because, you know, I love donuts, right? And so did Avicel Garcia. But, uh, again, guys, like I told y'all, you know, that's in my B for you, man. Rance. Oh, and Rendon only put up seven. All right. But, uh, all right, on to today, guys. So, on the screen, uh, this is an app that I use called Draft Dashboard. I use it to select my plays, all right? So, I'm currently in the position optimizer, guys. All right. So if you go in here and you look at each position, so at first base, and one of the players I like today is going to be Thames. Look at this right here, guys. He's plus 81%. Flattery or whatever his name is is giving up a 1.25 OPS versus lefties. And Eric Thames kills righties. It's the match made in heaven. All right, guys. All right, but it's all the information right here in one spot. Now, if you look at Thames' game log, you know, he's up and down, 15, 21, 0, 12. But he's at home in a hitter-friendly park. And uh, this team strikes out a lot, but he has a chance to uh, knock it out the park, guys. Again, this guy's giving it up. This fly, the flattery guy, whatever how do you, how you say his name. All right, guys, so you go through each position. You watch the players you like. So, for instance, at third base, I like another Milwaukee player. All right, just to be honest, I like Shaw. As you can see, look at that. Again, just play the lefties versus this guy. <laughs> All righty. But, um, and Travis Shaw. Again, has a suspect um, I'm scoring log, but again, he's in a good matchup, man. He has one of the best matchups on the on 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 the, on the board, guys. But um, <clears throat> also on outfielder, all right. One of the players I like, of course, Bryce Harper is at the top of the log, man. He's in a plus matchup. He's a, he's a righty killer. And if you look at the uh, OPS, he has a 1.087 OPS versus righty, and Julio Teron is giving up to the lefties. That's his worst, worst side, uh, 0.838, all right? Also, look here, Yellick, another player in a smash-up spot because, again, Flottery or whatever his name is gives it up to lefties, and that's just all lefties. Chris Davis in another another spot, or Crush Davis. You want to call him that. All right, we're going to go ahead and watch him. But once you watch all your players, guys, all right, you can go in here and go to the uh, lineup optimizer. And optimize you some lines, but I like Verlander, by the way. And I like some Kershaw, of course. You know, you got to have some Kershaw, right? All right, so if we go to the lineup optimizer, we let it build a lineup and it'll build a lineup for us, guys. So, And if you want to upgrade some players for whatever reason, you can go in here and uh, say you don't want Perella or somebody or Defoe, you can go in here and, and uh, upgrade them. But all right, that's all. And if you like it, save it. And there you go. And you got your lineup, guys. But all right, so... On to today's top plays, guys. So here are all the plays today on the screen, guys. We're just going to get right to it, man. <clears throat> just MLB. So got to roll with it. Got to roll with it. So for pitcher, um, J.A. J. Happ is my, my midpoint guy on my low low dollar player, guys. He's going up against the White Sox, who uh, strike out 21.2% uh, versus uh, lefties. All right. And Hap has an eight point seven nine K per nine, which is pretty good. He's I think he's like the third or fourth best one on the uh on the roster today, guys. So I like J Hap. And Verlander versus Baltimore. Got gotta get it, guys. Gotta get it, guys. All right. So J Val is giving up or he has a, a case per nine of nine point five seven. All righty. Up there with Kershaw. So I like him in this spot. Save a couple of bucks. He's at home in the plus matchup, and according to the uh, the daily numbers, let's see, uh, Houston is uh, uh, projected to score five point six from runs, which means he should get the win. And Baltimore is only projected to get uh, put up three point two, three point five runs, one of the lowest on the slate, guys. So I like him. He look at Jay Jay Hab right here. His team is only supposed to give up four runs. All right, but again, he's favored to win. All right, Houston is really favored to win. Look at that negative 245 right there, guys. So it's pretty much a lock. All right, so that means all the money is going to Houston. All right, so you feeling lucky? 
Go ahead and play you some Baltimore. <laughs> All right, guys, but back on to the picks. All right, Verlander. All right. So in that same game, I like McCann. All right, at center. If he gets to start tomorrow, guys, I like him. Not center, good Lord, catcher. All right. So with McCann, he has a, a .185 ISO and a uh, .423 slugging um, versus uh, the pitcher handedness. But I like McCann in a matchup where they're going to put up runs. And I like him to be in the middle of it. All right, Eric Thames, guys, as we saw on the draft dashboard, it's actually, and he's in a plus matchup, guys. So Thames is hitting a .284 ISO, all right, versus the uh, the hand, and this is a pitcher that he's facing, and he has a .390 WOBA, weighted on base average, guys. And the slugging percentage is a .543, man. If he puts the bat to the ball, it might lead the part, guys. So I like Thames to get a get a home run today at home again. He's a righty smasher, guys. I like Thames. All right, Travis Shaw in the same game. I believe he's batting third, and Thames is batting fifth. So I like these two. All right, as a little mini stack. All right. So if we look at the uh, average guys put up three home runs in uh, seventeen games. All right. But I like him for a chance to uh, <clears throat> knock one out the park as well because he has similar numbers to Thames when it comes to righties. Okay, guys? All right. So Shaw has a .249 ISO and a .379 Woba with a slugging percentage of .532. Again, similar players, guys. I like a chance for one of these guys to hit it out. And plus, yeah, like I say, they're projected to score a lot of runs. They're at home in the hitter-friendly part. I think it's like the second or third. Best hitter. Yep, second best part on the slate. All right, guys. Look at that right there. All right. Cool. All right, so I like those two guys. Again, I know this team strikes out a lot, but if they can get some hits and Vegas have them predicted to put up a, a nice amount of runs, I like these two to be a big part of that. And then last but not least, guys, is Bryce Harper, man. We got to get us some Bryce Harper, guys. He's going to go against Tehran, and he owns him. Let's just be honest. If you look at the BVP, Versus this guy, and right here you go, right Harper, thirty-seven at bats, seventeen hits, ten extra base hit, base hits, seven home runs, seventeen RBIs, all right, and only five strikeouts, guys. All right, look at the numbers, man. Point five four five nine average, OBP of point five five six on base percentage. Come on, guys, he 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 owns this dude. All right, so I'm gonna have me some Bryce Harper tomorrow. I'm not saying going all in on him, but I'm gonna have some, okay. All right, so there you go, guys. That's my top plays for tomorrow's slate. And you may say, okay, wow, they don't leave me 3,300 for each position that's left. But that's a couple of value plays on the slate, guys. If you go through and look at it, you got some people like uh, Reddick in Houston. I believe he's batting in, in the fifth hole. He's a good player at 3.3K. You know, he he has a chance to – he put up 13 home runs last year. Maybe he gets him one or a couple of extra base hits or RBI. So I like Reddick. All right, another player – that we like. Uh, this guy here is bad and high up in the order. Uh, looking through the um, the projected uh, lineup tomorrow. This guy here. All right, he's only 2.4K, and he's bad in like third, I think it is. Let's see. Where is he at? Uh, Oakland. Right here. Here you go. So he's projected to to hit second, guys. So he should get a lot, a lot of opportunities. He's going out. The wind is blowing out the park. All right. And they're projected to put up almost five runs, all right? And he's right there at the top of the order, guys. So, hey, he's a nice uh, punt play for 2.4K, guys. And if, if he's in the lineup, batting second, guys, all right? So, I like him all right, as a value play. Help you fit in that, uh, all those big hitters, guys, and those those high-dollar uh, pitchers. All right, another person is this guy here. He has a pretty nice matchup. Uh, if I can spell his name right Solarte, Toronto is projected to do do a lot of damage as well. All right, and this guy here is 2.9K, and again, he's batting higher up in the order. All right, all right here, see, he's projected to bat fourth, all right? Going, again, 5.2 runs, one of the highest run totals on the, on the board, all right? Righty versus a switch hitter, all right? And he has good numbers versus right-handers, okay? So I like him as well as a value play. So that's some of the value plays, guys, that you can use to fit in these plays, guys. 
All right, some of the players that I didn't didn't mention that I like tomorrow, it's going to be Smoke. Of course, you know, he again, Toronto is projected to put up a lot of runs. I like Smoke tomorrow. All right, another player that I like on tomorrow's slate, all right, that just missed my top plays is going to be um, this guy here. He's been hot. Again, in that Milwaukee game, I like the left-handed players versus the uh, – Versus this uh, St. Louis team, guys. All right. So, Yellick, he's batting lead off. All right. I like him tomorrow. All right. Another player uh, that I like. All right. It's going to be Cargo. Carlos Gonzalez. All right. Right here at 3.5K. Again, another guy that has decent numbers uh, uh, versus this team. Again, uh, given his price point. And uh, cool. So, all right, guys, that's some of the plays for tomorrow, guys. MLB, high variable game. So, practice proper bankroll, man. Now, like I say, guys, Kershaw is always in play when he's on the slate, guys. He's playing against Arizona in a hitter's ballpark, but it's Kershaw, guys. But I don't know if I'm paying up for him. Um, he's probably a cash game a lot because people are going to play him. But I like Verlander, man, to give me a similar, similar points. All right. For a little bit of a discount there, all right, guys. So, all right, good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. Hit me up in the comments, guys. Let me know uh, if you have any ideas on good plays or whatever. I like the video. If you're enjoying the content, guys, subscribe if you, you want to be notified when uh, I post videos, all right? And there's also a link in the description for a seven day trial for one buck for the draft dashboard app, guys. And I just scratched the surface, surface of some of the, um, the, um, Features of it, guys. So you got right here, fine sl- studs or fine sleepers. So click on fine sleepers. It has a couple of uh, players that are under a certain price range that you want to uh, look at. And as you can see right here, Bryce McCann is right up there on the top. All right. All right, guys. So good luck tomorrow. 